Do you ever, just curious, do you ever go to the, um, let's call them the, the super big boys, the institutional players, the uh, anchor loans of, of the world, the genesis of the world, the, the big um, um, players who, who loan a lot of money? Or you, you're always better off with your private folks. You may pay them a little more, but you get a little bit more lenient terms. Yeah. So it depends on how big the deal is. Right. So um, I've got um, a couple of relationships with, um, you know, our fellow CG members that uh, are hard money lenders. And like, you know, I recently did a deal that was like, oh, it was right around four hundred thousand dollars. Well, I just didn't want to tie up that much money of my private lender money, uh, particularly when I knew that I was going to get in and get out, you know, on the short term, probably within a, like a, a six month period. So the answer is yes. So, you know, uh, you know, like with yourself, I've got relationships with uh, hard money lenders. So I let the type of deal dictate uh, the type of money that I'm going to use on that deal, whether it's going to be a hard money or private money. That makes total sense. Uh, now I'm going to shift you a little bit and kind of walk you in the <laughs> in the arena of commercial real estate equity. I do a lot of commercial deals. We invest into a lot of commercial equity deals. Uh, do you, by any chance, again, just again, I haven't read your book. Do you teach folks how to raise capital for equity deals or only pure debt deals? Yeah. In other so, words, yeah, the focus hard money classic versus. You have a, you have a, you know, you're acquiring some small multifamily and you're raising capital for that, but you're yeah. raising equity capital, not firstly in mortgage. Right. Yeah. The, uh, the focus uh, of the book is uh, for single family houses, all the examples that I have in it are single family. And of course, as you know, better than anybody else, Mike, if you're raising private money for commercial deals, you know, some small apartments or whatever, it's all the same money. It's just, it's structured differently. And, you know, their security is typically different. If you're raising money for a fund, say, you know, uh, in contrast to what we call one-offs, right? Every deal stands on its own. So in this world of private money, um, we borrow the money, they're getting the deed of trust or mortgage, uh, securing that loan by that property that they're loaning money on. So, um, as I said, it's all the same money, but it's structured differently. Yeah, yeah, make, makes total sense. Uh, you, you, you're teaching them how to do plain vanilla, first, first trust the did, did deeds or mortgages, uh, relatively safe. Uh, they don't capture the same upside as, as the equity at the same time. Most people just look for safety when they invest in these trust deeds. So it makes total sense. Um, yeah, and then on the, on the commercial side, of course, it's, the relationships are similar. Uh, but the capital structure a little, little bit different. So. Correct. Right. 